is her main problem. I mean, she did say God takes care of us. You might want mine to explain this shit. He's right, Paula. That white son don't never come out here. Did Mr. Watson make him up? Once there was a woman with a lot of kids, too. They lived in a small house, and life was a blur clue. What did you ask for, Paula? We never get it anyway. Just what I thought. He ain't real again. He don't never bring nothing here. Is we gonna see Santa tomorrow? We found him making it around here. What did I say? Oh, shut up. Paula, had a same thing every Christmas. Now the 12th month was here, and we knew the golden rule. Well, what does all that mean? It means that if you believe in Jesus, Santa Claus needs to disappear. What? Who's Jesus? <laughs> next week on the night before Christmas. The wise men are on a mission to find Mary and Joseph. The innkeeper does not know who the wise men are searching for. Baby Jesus is about to be born. And King Harry is upset because the wise men haven't returned. Enjoy a sneak peek. Listen, look for two people. Us. Yeah, I can see you coming. I can see you. I can see you. Push. 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 Once there was a woman with a lot of kids, too. They lived in a small house, and life was a blur clue. Her husband died in a brawl, and she inherited it all. Double trials, double trouble, much heartache, growth, and a heavy log. Life wasn't sweet, but this family did eat. And a biblical story every night was often an entertaining treat. So life had its lemons kicked into a shift of neutral glands. The thing she couldn't control, she put in God's hand, for she had no choice. What else could she do? She was a woman with many kids, and they depended on her view. Throughout the year, the family was fine. Everyone took care of their duties. Everyone put in their time. January would pass, February would too. And in March, April, May, June, and July, the family was subdued. August and September, things were at their best. October had its way, and in November they did the rest. Birthdays were breaks that came and went. Celebrations created social scenes with limited money spent. Illness had its moments, and sickness we disproved. Now the 12th month was here, and we knew the golden rule. Yes, December was here, and now it was time to dream of Santa and reindeers and presents full of joyful things. Lists are scribbled together in hopes that Santa will deliver the best, even while we knew the golden rule and Mommy got the same test. By the end of the month, our joy faded away. Santa isn't real. That's what my mom would say. Chimneys don't sink, man. She's speaking a loud voice. And you're thinking of a reindeer and not people bringing you a toy? You kids are wrong, caught up in tradition, she'd say, worshiping an idol god and the real ones on his way. You can forget all about that Christmas stuff and how the wind blows it on Christmas Day. Jesus is the reason for the season. Now go out to play. What did you ask for, Paula? 
Nanya, what did you act for? Huh. Like I'll tell you after that. <laughs> Why am I upset with you? We never get it anyway. Yeah. Cause Santa ain't real. He don't never bring nothing here. And mine ain't got no money. What you mean is, she never has any money. We barely making it around here. Hmm. Try not to be so mean, Paula. I mean, she did say God takes care of us. I guess. And just enough for us to ask for some more. Or something else. <laughs> I agree. I don't even know why Mom calls him all the time. He ain't out there playing and picking no garden. Or feeding them animals. We do that. <laughs> And it looks like we're on the same page, bro. Steve Sheila, did you hear Paula? What did I say? Oh, shut up. All of you. <laughs> you said the same thing every Christmas. And expect something different. God is letting you live. Oh, shut up, Sheila. You're mad, too. No. I am not. I'm reasonable. Girl, you are mad. And you ain't no reasonable. You don't even know what reasonable means. It don't matter. I'm mad and ain't reasonable. What does that mean? Ugh, they don't go together. You shouldn't use words you don't know the meaning of. It means that I don't like nothing but what I like now. It does not. <laughs> Get real. Bring yourself for the slow, Santa. It means to understand, Sheila. I ain't slow. <laughs> I'm quick on my feet. <laughs> well, look at that. You do know. I ain't done, Sheila. Yeah, he ain't done. Did anybody ask for a recorder? Is we gonna see Santa tomorrow? You mean, are we? The answer is for what? We got Jesus. Well... Well, what? Mama ain't never read us no Santa Claus story in the Bible. Ain't nothing in there but God. And I don't remember him dressing in a red suit, growing a white beard, and giving out presents. In fact, <laughs> ain't nobody never seen him. What does all that mean? It means that if you believe in Jesus, Santa Claus need to disappear. What? Who's Jesus? Uh-oh. Child. You know, Jesus is God. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Then who is God? Jesus is... Jesus is daddy. Is he right? How can he be two people? Because he just that big. You might want mind to explain this problem. You gonna mess it up. My nothing, boy. God is Jesus. I don't know how to say it too many times. Then who is Santa? A white man with a white beard and a red suit who lives in the North Pole. And comes down here every year at Christmas with presents and don't bring the black people nothing. That's not true. Hmm. That's what the picture looks like at Mr. Watson's store. That ain't the only Santa. It's different Santas. They just always paying white because Mr. Watson don't want no more colors in his store. Right. Why? Ask me after you're 10, 12, 16, no 18. Never mind. Some people just ain't gonna like what color God made you. What color is that? Black, boy. Leave him alone, T. What do you want Santa to bring you for Christmas, John? Good luck. Oh, shut up, Jay. He's right, Paula. That white son don't never come out here. Did Mr. Watson make him up? Him and a lot more other folks. No. Girl, you better bust that boy's bubble before Ma gets in here. Just what I thought. He ain't real again. Of course he is, John. He can be real to you. Just don't make him God. No, he can't. Last year, Sheila said that he ran out of gas trying to get to us. But Miss Werner said at school that reindeer don't use gas. 
the year before that, Jay said that he had to go back to the North Pole to pick up some more gifts because he ran out. Well, it's almost a new year. I wish that he could be real so that some parents wouldn't be so mean. I thought Jesus was love. Every year at Christmas, people make him Scrooge. Just strange. It ain't really his birthday, but we're supposed to pretend that it is to don't give out gifts. That's halfway line. We are all confused. Poor John. We got to step on this imagination every year. Anyway, mom's on my way in here. Stop talking about that Christmas mess. I'm sorry, John. That should stop us from hoping, right? Right. Girl, you just brightened that boy up to get him chilled down. Don't listen to him, John. Ask mom when she comes in. Well, well, well. So who did it this time? John, I want you to listen, son. You're new to this, but you'll get it. Everyone else, you better pay attention. January has passed. February has too. And in March, April, May, June, and July, we really were subdued. August made a change. September had its best. October had her way. But November gave us rest. Birthdays gave us breaks. Celebrations created social scenes. Illness had a few moments. And sickness made us clean. Now December has made her way. And that Santa is here again. Parading in idle traditions. Trying to be our friend. Who woke you up this morning? Who kept you all night long? Who feeds you when you're hungry? Who makes our family strong? And now I'm supposed to wrap him up in a big old bag and throw his everyday gifts away to make this big sick world happy for just one day? Listen, babies. Listen well, as your mama say. Jesus is the reason for this season. Now get on your knees and pray. Thank you.